Good morning, friends. Today's class is a quick energizing sequence. Great for the morning, right after we get out of bed. Great way to invite positive energy and a lot of movement throughout our day, starting our day off with a bit of momentum here. So we will be beginning standing up at the front of the mat, lifting up the toes so we can feel ourselves grounding through all four corners of the feet, keeping a slight bend in the knees here, rolling the shoulders back, palms facing forward. We're here for a breath. Slightly tucking the pelvis in, standing nice and strong in this mountain pose. This is a great foundation for our practice, foundation for our day. Just standing here, connecting to ourselves, being supported by the mat. We're just gonna tuck the chin into the chest. We can have the eyes open or closed. And then lift it back and send it back up, lifting the chin to the sky. One more time like that. Into the chest. And back to the sky. And then taking the head to the right side, feeling a nice stretch in the left side of the neck. Still keeping the arms by the sides nice and strong. And taking it gently through center, reaching the head to the left side, finding a nice stretch on the right. One more time each side, moving gently, not forcing anything here, not hurting our necks. We want to alleviate some pain and tension if we can, not cause it. And gently over to the left, wiggling the fingertips, waking them up. Coming back through center and we're going to reverse roll down. So starting with the head, tucking it in. Rolling down, 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 down. Feeling the spine wake up here. Maybe we're really feeling it today. Reaching the fingertips down and melting our bellies towards our thighs. Keeping a nice bend in the knees. We can either let the hands hang by the feet, palms facing up. Or we can grasp opposite elbows. Maybe by this way. Reach the arms behind the legs, whichever variation feels good to you right now. Letting the head draw out. Bringing it out. Releasing the arms wherever they are. Feet are hip width apart. Keeping a nice bend in the knees. Inhale, arms reach up, chair pose. Big inhale here, sinking back into the hips, reaching the arms up or forward. And exhale, we're going to bring the fingertips down and reach forward, maybe reaching the arms back. Inhale, one more time, chair pose. Big inhale, and on the exhale, sweeping the arms back. I lie, one more time. Inhale, it should feel good. Waking up the body, exhale. Send the energy back. This time on the inhale, we're standing all the way up. Palms come together, straightening the legs. Maybe taking a slight back bend, sending the pelvis forward, opening up through the chest, and exhale, releasing, taking the hands behind the chest, interlacing fingers, pulling the shoulders down. We're open. Nice deep breaths. Taking one inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Big lion's breath. Stick out that tongue. <sighs> Smell that coffee on your breath. <laughs> and gently release. Taking the arms out in front and extending them out to the sides. Keeping a bend in the knees so you have some buoyancy here. We're taking the arms to one side and the other. Opening up through the back, through the spine. Maybe we're bending the arms. We're hearing any cracks, any creaks, pops that come with this movement here. You can take it as slow or as fast as you would like. Maybe playing 
with the different um it's fast for slow. What is that word? Ooh, there we go. Wiggling it out. Maybe doing one of these. We can look as silly as we want to. We're not home. No one's watching us. Even if they are, who cares? And I'm doing it with you. So when we're done reaching the arms up on the next inhale, and exhale, hands to heart center. Taking the left knee up into the chest, rolling out the ankle, should feel great. And then we'll be releasing that leg behind us Coming into a high lunge here, nice and strong. Rolling the shoulders down. Exhale, sinking a little bit deeper into the hips, reaching that left heel back. Opening to the right side, extending arms nice and long, reaching out through the fingertips. And Letting that right hand fall to the leg, reaching the left overhead, still nice and strong in the legs. And then very gently, we're going to bend the left knee, coming down onto it and into our little lunge, planting the right fingertips and reaching that left arm overhead, getting a nice side body stretch. And sweeping that hand around, sending the hips back, half splits, reaching the right toes up to the sky. So good. Mm. Inhaling back up, and we are going to come back into our low lunge to find our straddle. You'll probably be facing the back of the mat. I will face the front of the mat so you can see me. <laughs> oh, finding our straddle pose here. Our legs do not have to be super far apart. They can be closer and together wherever we feel this sensation already. We're turning the knees and the toes up and back. <sighs> We're nice and long here. Maybe this is where we stay. Maybe this is where we feel it. Maybe we go a little bit further. We walk the fingertips out, we come onto the forearms. This is where I'm staying today. This is where I'm at. My legs are a little tight. I'm honoring my body as we all should. I'm not trying to force anything here. I'm walking the fingertips over to the right foot. Nice and tall, long spine, and just walking the fingertips towards that foot, folding over a little bit. Maybe reaching that right hand to the foot and the left arm comes overhead. Still nice and open in the chest. Before gently releasing, walking the fingertips to the left side, squaring off before folding over that leg. Keeping our quadriceps nice and secure. You're reaching the right arm over. Coming back up through center, taking both soles of the feet together, bound angle pose, reaching peace fingers around big toes, pulling myself closer in, butterflying the legs, waking up the inner groins a little bit, still a nice flat back, breathing nice and deep here, just feeling this stretch. Gently release, taking the hands behind us, taking the right knee over onto the left, coming onto our knees. 
Finding this tabletop position here before sending the hips back to the right heel and over to the left. Over to the right, just waking up the hips. Oh, maybe making the movements a little bigger each time, a little bit higher. Steepening the fingers, picking up the hips, starting to feel it in the lower back as well, stretching all the way up through the side, maybe incorporating the shoulder or tucking the chin. Finding however this feels good to you. A few more each side, we're gonna even it out. Before taking the fingers back towards the knees, coming up onto the toes, gently waking up the toes, the balls of the feet, untucking those pinkies. And gently pressing up to a standing position. Ooh, feeling that in the feet. Actually, maybe we take a little little malasana, side squat to the back of the side squat, yogi squat to the back of the mat. <sighs> Walking the fingertips back and turning the toes out to the sides, tucking the pelvis down to the mat, trying to reach the heels to the mat. If they're up, that's totally okay. <sighs> Just taking a moment here. We're walking the fingertips out, straightening the legs, and taking the left leg all the way up in front, stepping it up towards the front of the mat, reaching up for our high crescent lunge, sinking nice and deep, opening up through the right hip flexor before revolving to the side, reaching that right heel back, drawing the shoulder blades together, planting the left hand, walking it back down the leg, reaching the right overhead. Gently with control, lowering that right heel down, coming into our side lunge, steepling the left fingertips, Reaching over with the right. And coming into our half splits, bringing the hips back. Opening up through the hamstrings. One more breath here. Before taking that left leg, reaching it over the right, crossing it and coming to sit on the sit bones. So we are in cow face pose, trying to stack knees on top of each other. Just sitting up nice and tall, already feeling this stretch in the outer glutes a little, I'm sure. If we like, we can Walk the fingertips up a little bit. Nice. Mm. Deep breaths. And gently lifting the chest back up. Uncrossing the legs. Crossing the right over the left. Evening out both sides. Mm. Walking the fingertips back, taking the feet, coming into easy pose in the middle of the mat. Reaching the arms above the head, grabbing onto opposite elbows, pulling the elbows back, lifting the heart, lifting the gaze. 
extending the right arm and taking it, extending the right arm, taking the hand to the small of the middle back and reaching the left to the mat. We can also keep the left hand on the elbow, trying to help it down a little bit more. Whichever variation you like, we can also try and reach around and grab the fingertips, opening up a little bit more. Listening to our bodies. And then straightening that right arm, crossing it over the chest, taking the left underneath. This is always reminds me of gym class, this stretch. <laughs> Gently releasing, taking the left hand, reaching for the small of the back. Same variations as the other side, right can be on the mat, on the elbow. Reaching around, trying to grab fingertips. Oof, noticing the difference in the openings of these sides. We can gently release those, wiggling out the fingertips, drawing some arm circles, further moving that energy around. We are going to end with a little seated cat cow, so hands can come to the knees. Inhale, lifting the chest. And exhale, rounding through the back, tucking the chin. Inhale, we're here, nice and open. And exhale, rounding, feeling the stretch all the way through the spine. Maybe the hands leave the knees. You can make it more of a fluid motion. One more breath here, inhale. We're ready for whatever comes our way. Exhale, letting go of the things we don't need to take with us today. One more time together, big inhale. Exhale, 